Good evening with your CIG TV News Update. I'm Edlin Ruiz in for Donna Bush. In our top story today, the British Minister of Overseas Territories visits Cayman. Baroness Anna Lay arrived yesterday and this morning made her way to the sister islands. Her first stop was in Little Cayman where she visited the Central Caribbean Marine Institute to learn about its reef conservation work as well as get a tour. She later visited Little Cayman's National Trust to meet with residents and view the breeding grounds of a rare bird species. The minister then flew over to Kim and Brack where she visited the Parrot Reserve, the Lighthouse and the Sports and Hurricane Center. She spent lunch with residents and dignitaries before attending an award ceremony at the local high school. The Baroness will continue her visit tomorrow here in Grand Cayman. On her agenda is a visit to the Legislative Assembly and the new Kimpton Hotel, as well as meeting with the disability policy officials and volunteers. Baroness Anna Lay is the first serving overseas territory minister to visit all three islands. For the month of October, the Cayman Islands will commemorate Older Persons Month. Celebrations kicked off on Saturday with the country's first ever Older Persons Expo. The event, which fell on International Day of Older Persons, was held at the Family Life Center. Her Excellency Governor Helen Kilpatrick opened the event, which featured dozens of private and public stalls that offered good services and resources to the elderly population. Activities at the expo included free chair massages and health and wellness screenings, as well as workshops on fraud management and advanced career placement. Older Persons Month events are hosted by the Ministry of Community Affairs, Sports and Youth. Next on the calendar is an island tour on Cayman Brack, and that's set for next week, Tuesday, the 11th of October. For more information on older persons, you can call 949 Leaders in the scuba diving world were honored this weekend at the International Scuba Diving Hall of Fame. For the first time, four local honorees were chosen by members of the public. The honorees are Wallace Rivers, Steve Broadbelt, Gerald Wilcox and Anthony Scott. The award ceremony recognizes international and local pioneers who have made outstanding contributions to the recreational scuba diving industry. International honorees included Ramon Bravo, a Mexican diver, photographer and underwater filmmaker, Philippe Cousteau Sr., the son of diving icon Jacques Cousteau, as well as the three Japanese pioneers who invented the first self-contained diving system in 1916. And before we go, we want to bring you an update on Hurricane Matthew. Advisories are in for Jamaica, Haiti and Cuba. The Category 4 hurricane is 425 miles southeast of the sister islands and is moving at 6 miles per hour with the maximum sustained winds of 140 miles per hour. Outer bands of the storm are expected to cause some rainy conditions for the sister islands. And while the storm isn't projected to impact the Cayman Islands, residents are urged to continue to monitor the system through information released by the National Weather Service. For information on how to get prepared, you can visit the hazard management website. That's www.caymanprepared.ky. As always, if you missed today's news update, you can get all the details on our Facebook and YouTube pages. And of course, don't forget to tune into Radio K Man for the record and talk today's shows. I'm Edlyn Ruiz. Thank you for watching and have a good evening.